Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Insoma water flow meter. It has four different functions. It can show the current flow rate, it can measure single events, it can show a daily average and the total amount in gallons up to 99,999 gallons and it has an accuracy of more than 95%. So it ticks all the boxes, everything what we need. It's even super small, so I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get, and then use it outside, and then measure how accurate this really is. And so that's the box. There are some warnings, and also the specs on the other side. I hope you can read that. So let's open it and see. And so we get the instructions manual, the device itself, and comes with the standard CR2032 battery. And so here we have some description. I hope you can read that if it's nicely focusing. So we get an idea what we can do with it, different functions, but I'm going to show you that anyway. As a connection on top and at the bottom comes with this standard three quarter of an inch outlet. Here on top we get even this filter, as you can see we can uh, freely rotate it to secure it. And here we have this thread to attach the hose. So we can remove this protection here. So I'm going outside, attach it and then measure some water consumption. And so I've been outside, tested it and everything worked really well except from some mistakes which I caused myself and the first thing is that I destroyed this nice mesh. I mean it's still here and the reason why this happened is that the landlord, I'm just renting here, the landlord has installed a pressure release valve on the faucet. I haven't been aware of that, never seen that before and there's some really sharp needle from the top which was almost invisible and that pushed the mesh down but it's still here something maybe to check before you attach the thing here or something which is really nice comes with this gasket here also check underneath if the garden hose has still the gasket before you attach it underneath so at the end we have gasket here on top and underneath so that really worked and the good thing is it's turned on automatically when the water was flowing and it turned off when the water stopped. So I guess the battery will last very long. And so let's turn it on here manually. And what I've done is I was filling up a standard five gallon Home Depot bucket. And so I stopped it after five gallons. Yeah, it was a little bit too slow, so it filled a little bit more, but it stopped at 5.1 and it was almost overflowing. So it looks like the measurement is definitely really accurate. So now since we are done, we can long press here and reset the single measurement to zero. You can see Then we can also check on other measurement average. Yeah, of course, that was also the thing which we have done today. We can also reset this with a long press here to zero. And when we push again, we can so also see the total total is same thing. And so we can also reset the total if we want to zero but of course you can leave that reset just the single ones or so and it has also been showing the gallons per minute it was showing something like 1.3 which means it would take about four minutes to fill the bucket i haven't used the stopwatch but i would say it was pretty close to four minutes so this could be also very accurate so everything has been working really nice i would say really good quality everything makes totally sense from the top to the bottom to the control to the menu to functions it has everything what we need and is still very easy to use so i can give you a full recommendation and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time